In an air conditioning system, we know that we're going to have the liquid line that's going to be going into the metering device, and the metering device is feeding the evaporator. We have our wall here for the house, and we're going to have the ductwork that comes down like this. We're going to have our fan. This fan is going to be blowing the air through the coil and out through the ductwork. Coming back, we're going to have approximately 75 degree return air temperature. We're going to have about 75 degree return air temperature. This coil, typically air conditioning system, we want the coil to be about 40 degrees. But if the system is charged properly, if the system is, has been running for a while and it's working like it's supposed to, then what you're going to have is 75 degree air coming in and approximately 55 degree air going out. That's going to be your supply air temperature. So then what we have here is we have your 75 degrees return air temperature minus the 55 supply air temperature that gives us a 20 degree delta T. 20 degree delta T. When you say 20 degree delta T, delta T is just a fancy way of saying temperature difference. So we see that we have 75 coming in here, 55 going out. When we subtract, we have 20 degree temperature difference, or in other words, 20 degrees delta T if everything is working right. Don't forget, the evaporator is going to be absorbing different types of heat, sensible heat and latent heat. So this number could change depending on the air coming back. So this is ideal, this is perfect, that is what you would like to see. And a lot of times we don't get that, but that is your delta T or temperature difference. Thank you. This is Julio from Aircon Academy. Look me up, airconacademy.com, or you could see me on YouTube where I have several videos, and hopefully you will like them and follow the page. Thank you.